Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Last time on the old top five list, we went on a journey of discovery in order to pinpoint the best Devil Fruit users in the series. And well, you all know what happens once we visit the best. Yeah, for the sake of balance, we've got to talk about the worst. Now, once again, I have a few things to bear in mind before we begin. The first of which being to remember that this is not a list criticizing the Devil Fruits themselves. It is entirely based on their demonstrated use in the series by their benevolent wielders. This means that Devil Fruits with arguably bad powers will not be punished for that factor. Similarly, individuals with phenomenal fruits are not going to get a free pass just because they won the lottery and were blessed with ridiculously overpowered abilities. And as such, the criteria for this list is as follows. To meet the requirements of being a poor Devil Fruit user, one must have without a doubt failed to meet the potential of their basic gifts for one reason or another. Ideally, they would also have put very little creative or logical thought into the use of their powers outside of the bare minimum. Also quite notably, I've made the decision not to include animals on this list, such as Pierre, Lasso, and Funkfried. And furthermore, all Devil Fruit users on this this list must be canon or my dog will consume me in my nightmares. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five worst Devil Fruit users in One Piece. Number five, NL. Starting out quite potentially controversially here, we have the user of quite possibly the best Devil Fruit in the entire series. And to be fair, that's quite a lot to live up to, but at the same time, there is no denying that NL acquired these powers and shortly thereafter, acquired a god complex to go with them. He more so than any other character in the series embodies the idea of complacency, becoming horrendously lazy and wildly arrogant. And that's why at the very first sign of resistance to his fruit abilities, AKA one count of one rubber boy, his entire empire crumbled in a matter of minutes. And yes, you can say that the Gomu Gomu no Mi was the natural counter to the Gorogoro no Mi, but that has so little to do with it in the grand scheme of things. I maintain that if you gave the Gorogoro no Mi to most Devil Fruit users in the new world, they would have thrashed Luffy, despite his rubbery disposition. And it's just because they're better Devil Fruit users. NL had one trick, throw lightning at people. And if that didn't work, then uh, well, hmm. Shit. Although once again, to be fair, after encountering Luffy, he did pull out some creative solutions like encasing his hand in gold. But on the flip side, that would also end up leading directly to his downfall. And I mean, it's just very simple things like the fact that he can teleport and therefore should never have been able to be hit by Luffy in the first place. And I was such a bad user of the fruit that he more or less just stood there allowing Luffy to hit him. Now, the one piece of credit I will give to NL is his use of the fruit in regards to the Arc Maxim and creating a gigantic doomsday weapon. That was a really creative and fantastic feat of engineering, which saves him from going any further on this list, but it just isn't enough. When you're gifted one of the most overpowered devil fruits in existence, and you cannot deal with one simple rubberman, a pre-time skip rubberman who has no knowledge of Haki or Gears, I should say, then I'm afraid you're doing something very, very wrong. Number four, Bluno. All right, it's cow time. And Bluno might be an unexpected addition to this here list thing because he's quite competent when it comes to life in general. You know, he's a decent fighter, cool fruit user, and he even owned a bar at one point. So it's as if he has everything sorted out. However, the point of contention comes with the idea that Bluno is just so ill-suited to his particular fruit, the Doa Doa no Mi, which allows the user to create doors and even enter a pocket dimension via air doors. As a result, the Doa Doa no Mi is catered towards an individual who favors stealth and removing themselves from dangerous situations, which being a secret government assassin, you'd think that Bluno would do, but uh, that's that's just not Bluno style. I mean, amongst all of CP9, he is the Tekai specialist. You know, the technique that freezes your entire body and is based on tanking attacks. So it's a huge conflict because on the one hand, his fruit is designed to simply avoid head-on attacks and plan ambushes and the like, but Bluno's natural inclination is to fight head-on. And so the Doa Doa no Mi becomes incredibly wasted in his hands. And it's a bit worse because he further displayed its extreme potential in combat by creating the revolving door on Luffy's face, which almost completely incapacitated him for a brief period. And there's no decent reason why Bluno couldn't have been doing that the whole time with other parts of Luffy's body. It's just a pretty severe mismatching of personal style to Devil Fruit powers. I can't say that Bluno ever really invested into pursuing the Doa Doa no Mi to any form of potential it represents, and thus, as a result, here the Cow Man appears. Number three, Gem. So most of you probably know him as Mr. Five, but the Vivia Card data book did recently reveal that his real name is in fact Jem. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Jem is the wielder of the Bomu Bomu no Mi, a fruit that allows the user to make explosions from any part of their body or bodily secretions. So how does Jem make use of this power in the series? Well, abysmally is one word that comes to mind. And this is because his primary use of this power consists of removing a portion of snot from his nose and firing it at an opponent. And this is actually a really nice utility use of the fruit, you know, crafting these little sniper style explosions, but this is how 
Scout Gem uses the fruit 90% of the time, which is like giving someone a grenade launcher and telling them that they can only fire tennis balls out of it. And Gem does show some nice creativity by using his breath to create exploding bullets, but to me this only hammers home how horrifically misused the Bomber Bomonomi is. I mean, if even your breath is explosive, then why not go and create gigantic bombs by blowing up 50 balloons and dropping them on an opponent? I mean, nobody would ever suspect the balloons. But this applies to anything that he can excrete as well. Like instead of relying on whatever is in your nose at the time, why not carry around vials of snot, breath, blood, spit, whatever? It's kind of weird and disgusting, but it would be so much more effective. And that's before we even get into the idea that his body just explodes on its own, meaning that he becomes a theoretical beast in hand-to-hand -hand combat, especially since Jem himself admits that his most powerful move is the full body explosion. So if anything, this fruit is another incredible mismatch with its user, kind of like the opposite of the Bluno situation really, as the Bomber Bomber no Mi is far more effective head on, while its user prefers to be stealthy and attack at a distance. Really, if Bluno and Jem were to switch Devil Fruits, I think we'd see fantastic use from both of them. But as they are, Jem certainly does not meet anywhere near the full or even basic potential of the Bomber Bomu no Mi. Number two, Kanjiro. Next up is the user of one of my personal favorite Devil Fruits in the series, which is currently unnamed at the time of this recording, but it is ever so exciting because it gives the user the power to bring anything they draw to life. And yes, before the comments about this being ninjutsu or sorcery come up, this is a Devil Fruit ability, and Kinemon has one as well. They just aren't knowledgeable about their existence because of the whole isolated society of Wano thing. But getting back to the actual fruit, more so than most powers, Kanjiro's abilities are limited only by the imagination of the user. Well, the imagination as well as their drawing ability. I say that because Kanjiro is a, he's a unique artist. He very much has his own style. I mean, if you saw this work in a gallery, you'd know instantly that it was a Kanjiro original, but unfortunately this more often than not doesn't help the practical use of the fruit. Kanjiro's creations are often half-baked and so fail to reach the potential of drawings crafted by more imaginative or technically proficient wielders. And the first person that comes to mind would be Usopp actually, who possesses both of those qualities. With this fruit, Usopp would probably go on to become a serious power in the world, but we don't really need to reach that sort of potential to make better use of the fruit than Kanjiro does. And sadly, it really is as simple as that. Kanjiro is just a bit too close-minded and untrained to draw out more than the very basic elements of this devil fruit. But with that said, there does exist a fruit user in this world who wastes their gifts more than every other character on this list combined. Number one, Magellan. So I don't know if this is a controversial pick because I think most people would remember Magellan as the dude who defeated Luffy and the entirety of the Blackbeard Pirates, purely through wielding his devil fruit, the Doku Doku no Mi, which allows him to generate and control various types of poison. This fruit is actually maddeningly deadly, so much so that I placed it on my 2019 top five best devil fruits list. And with it, Magellan was able to maintain the great facility of Impel Down, well, up until a certain point in the story anyway. So what's the problem here? Well, it's one very simple use of the fruit, which is that after becoming a poison man, Magellan began to add poison into all of his meals because they allegedly added a lot of flavor to the food. And I should say that he was adding external poisons, not any of the kind that he generates. And whilst consuming these external poisons did not kill him, the sheer quantity that he consumes each day resulted in severe diarrhea. So much so that it forces him to spend 10 hours of every day on the toilet. So combine that with his eight hours of sleeping and that leaves only six hours a day where he can actually put his devil fruit powers to good use. So despite the fact that he is an incredibly formidable opponent and uses the Doku Doku no Mi phenomenally in combat or order maintenance situations, engaging in his powers to consume poisoned food is far and away the worst individual use of a devil fruit in the entire series. The detriment to his profession and general lifestyle is just ridiculous. I mean, 10 hours a day. I mean, yes, Magellan may have reached great potential with the fruit, but the detriment he inflicts upon himself easily cancels all of that out and leaves us merely with one horrible use of the fruit. And it is for that one apparently delicious reason that I find myself with no choice but to crown Magellan as the pinnacle of poor devil fruit users in the series. And that pretty much does it for the top five worst Devil Fruit users in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your own worst Devil Fruit users in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. This fine chap here is, uh, well, he's our friend Bob looking at two things. One, poor grammar, and he's also looking at someone else eating his bagel. He really liked that bagel and someone ate it. 
Why poor grammar? There's lots of commas. 